So today I read on the Archaos blog page that they had a new beta out that worked with our controllers. So I decided to download that beta, give it a try, and see how it works. So I have my block controller here, um, and I have our Chaos Grand here. And I've already gone ahead and edited the mini map. Uh, what I did when I first started our Chaos is it asked me what kind of mixing mode I wanted, so I chose an 8x7 grid, uh, which is nice because you can adjust that size. So I made the first eight rows, um, the first seven rows, uh, by eight assigned to the, uh, the clip grid here. Um, now, when I, I, it's been a long time since I used our chaos, uh, probably like eight years. So, um, I've never used this before. I've only been using it for about 10 minutes here, but I thought I'd just shoot this quick video, um, because it's working really nicely and I hope that, uh, some of these features get expanded. Um, so after I opened up the MIDI learn and edited the MIDI map here, it was real simple. Just select a clip and, you know, edit the MIDI map. Um, uh, I dragged some clips in, and you can see when I press a button and hold it down, it plays that clip, um, which I guess is how our chaos works. Um, so it plays one clip at a time. When I let it go, it stops playing that clip. Now, um, it seems that they have a latch mode, which allows the um, clip to continue to play. So I'm going to turn that latch mode on and just trigger some clips here. And you'll notice that the clip is highlighted and stays lit as long as it is playing, uh, which I think is a really nice feature because uh, you can see it on screen and you can also see it on the controller itself. Now it looks like our chaos will let you play eight, is it eight? Yeah, eight clips and then eight clips can play at a time. So here I'm just triggering clips and that, that, that last clip, the first clip that I pressed is the uh, first clip to go away. Um, and I can go ahead and turn them back off. Um, I've managed to map some of this stuff to effects, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this last clip I have here. And I have it assigned to an effect. I'm not quite sure how to bring that. Okay, cartoon. So you can see these first four uh, knobs I have mapped to these first four uh, effects here, effect parameters. So you can see I'm manipulating them using these four knobs. And it seems that you can just change the effect here and use these knobs um, to adjust that. Um, one thing that I thought was really cool about the software is that it has uh, 16 banks here, but I can assign a, a rotary pot to change these. So I can just take a knob and make it. Uh, go in between banks, which is really useful um, for figuring out which uh, clip I need to use on the fly. And you can see when I go to a, a bank that has a bunch of clips in it uh, that aren't playing, and I go back to the one that has the clips playing, it shows on the controller, which I think is really nice. Um, this button here, which is tap tempo in our software, is I have mapped to um, this skull and crossbones, which seems to be the dead button. Um, I guess that means kill all clips. Um, skull and crossbones says dead to me, but maybe they should have put like a, a gun or something. But anyways, that's kill all clips. And yeah, so that's uh, our chaos grand. Uh, glad to see it's working uh, really easy uh, out of the box with um, block. And uh, you can see here, if I open up the preferences, that it lets me, for MIDI feedback, which is what makes the buttons light up, it lets me uh, select generic MIDI and select the block controls, which is the control surface. Uh, again, you don't need any drives or anything. This is uh, out of the box, so automatically works like this. So I uh, hope to be able to give you some more of these demos in the future.